by virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I hereby conjure this assembly of as a legal con congregation of the University of Pretoria. During this assembly, degrees and diplomas with all the associated rights and privileges will be conferred and awarded to the candidates whose names appear in the program. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, we request you to join us in a silent prayer or meditation to give thanks for the achievements of our students. Thank you. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I wish to welcome uh, the Dean, uh, Professor Nicola Klein, and uh, the Deputy Dean, Professor Petzer, and um, Professor Whitaker, the Executive Director, Dr. Matecha, who is our Deputy Director in Enrollment and Student Administration, Chairpersons of schools, heads of departments, directors, emeriti and honorary professors, and other lecturers and their spouses. I also wish to welcome a representative of the Student Representative Council who will present the SRC Academic Honors and Colors. All persons to whom degrees will be conferred and diplomas our special guest today, welcome. All spouses, parents, and other parties, as well as dignitaries um, who may not, we, we may not be aware of that are with us today, welcome to the beautiful University of Pretoria. Today we are celebrating the achievement of 90 postgraduate students graduating in the Gordon Institute of Business Science, better known as GIPS. And I wish to welcome each one of you again, particularly the academic staff for outstanding teaching and learning that our students have gone through over the years. And um, as a business school, I mean, Gibbs prides itself in equipping business managers uh, and, and of course we, we know the history of, of, of this uh, campus of the University of Pretoria, which, which has been very successful over a number of years. And this requires a very strong will and ability to lead and manage a complex organization in a volatile economic and uh, the climate and the environment that is char characterized by uncertainty. It is, of course, essential to ensure prosperity and growth in the economies of our country and the continent in particular. And I'm sure you will agree that in the current economic climate and the multiple challenges facing our country and the globe, Gibbs has its work cut out for it. And during a meeting of uh, World Economic Forum uh, in September 2018, and we know they are meeting again in Cape Town today, the report said by 2020, more than a third of the desired core skill sets of most occupations will be comprised of skills that are not yet considered crucial to the job today. Overall, social skills such as persuasion, emotional intelligence, uh, and teaching others will be in the higher demand across industries than narrow technical skills, such as programming, equipment operation, and control. Technical skills will need to be supplemented with strong social and collaboration skills. 
That was the end. Now, these remarks bear in mind the compelling data and challenges relating to globalization, environmental security, digitalization, the fourth industrial revolution, and of course, uh, a digital transformation, lifelong learning, collaboration, and cooperation. Furthermore, given the current economic downturn in South Africa and further afield, the legislative constraints to growing the economy, alarming unemployment statistics, ever-increasing crime, rampant maladministration, efficiency and corruption, I mean continuing inequalities in our society and elsewhere, and the resulting lack of investor confidence, business science and development require now more than ever a focus on ethical leadership innovation and creative solutions. It is these beautiful minds that are graduating here today together with our eminent academics who can bring a change to this depressing economic condition that we have. And various programs offered at GIPS are designed, delivered and assessed with a focus on, on affecting positive behavioral changes through the acquisition of knowledge and changing of mindsets with due consideration of where we come from and where we are headed. Within this context, each graduate who will be walking across the stage this morning should be recognized as a veritable leader who can proactively manage cross-functional teams, understand diversity, appreciate the societal impact of business, and engender a sustainable approach to whatever field in which he or she is employed or self-employed. Graduates successfully coming through GIPS program are renowned for being agile, inclusive, and global in their thinking and attitudes. At the same time, their roots are firmly in Africa. GIPS has achieved its long-running standing success in business science by investing in high and top quality academic staff, admitting only the best and the brightest students and backing them with a superb infrastructure and facilities. And according to the United Kingdom's Financial Times Executive MBA ranking, GIPS is home to South Africa and Africa's number one Masters in Business Administration. And the Business School has also been ranked among the top 50 providers of business education globally since 2003. And Working with more than 6,000 executives, managers, and scholars every year across multiple countries, the internationally oriented faculty and, associ and associates at GIPS remain at the cutting edge of equipping managers and organizations to anticipate and respond to key environmental shifts in business. As a leading business school, GIPS consistently meets and exceeds the expectations of students, prospective students, and of course industry. Every graduate this morning will be able to attest to the transformative learning experience that will contribute positively to meeting the needs of our society. I know the rigor uh, that goes on at the business school, otherwise it would have never been ranked the best. And during this spring graduation uh, ceremonies, we were awarding and conferring 1,582 qualifications at this university. Now, this morning, the 90 candidates will walk across the stage and demonstrate our institutional vision and global, and, and our institutional vision and, and the goal of improving our already remarkable international standing, of which 
postgraduate education is, is a very important measure. And ladies and gentlemen, as a university, we have an obligation to drive the development of new knowledge, technologies, and innovation that will shape our world in the immediate future. And at the same time, we have a duty to ensure that the graduates we produce will be able to thrive in the world because it's a very tough world out there. And Gibbs is a critical role player in changing multitudes of people's lives through the skills that are imparted there. Now, a message to, to the graduating class. Allow me to conclude with a short message uh, to you. Today we unlock the world of uncapped potential. It is in your hands to shape the future of this country and the continent and of course the world. Build your impeccable legacy and be a positive influence in many people's lives. Have something to be remembered by, something that you do that uh, people can point to and say you have done this and made a difference or a positive contribution in their lives. Your choices are, lim are limitless and may you go out into the world and make today an everyday matter by living the UP way. And the UP way means embracing our ethos of excellence perseverance, respect, creativity, innovation, diversity, kindness, and making a difference in people's lives, as I said. And in the words of uh, who you know best as uh, business science students, Jim Collins, and I quote, he says, greatness is not a function of circumstance. Greatness is largely a matter of conscious choice and, or discipl and discipline. Greatness is largely a matter of conscious choice and discipline, in close quote. And as we celebrate your relentless work and discipline, your achievement and your hard earned reward, I wish to extend our congratulations from our Chancellor, Professor Wiseman Kuthu, and our Vice Chancellor, Professor Tawana Kupe, and all of us in the executive team, uh, to all of you in the graduating class today. And along with the Dean of Gibbs, Professor Klein, we are truly delighted with your remarkable achievement. Please accept our heartfelt congratulations for achieving this milestone. Let me also congratulate your families on the immense input they have made in making this reality uh, for, for you and us alike. And can we give your families uh, a round of applause, please? <laughs> now, dear graduates, I wish you all the very best as you embark on this tumultuous journey. Navigate it with skill and much alacrity. I urge you to remain committed to your alma mater this university by supporting us and Gibbs alumni initiatives. You see, I know you're going to make a lot of money more than you already do. So that's actually what I mean. So, and accessing vulnerable networking, pl networking platforms you have built up during your studies, participating in the master class evenings uh, with the Gibbs faculty, hosting UP and give students uh, for company visits. There's still a lot of learning that should happen. And volunteering on any of the multiple UP and Gibbs platforms for plowing back into the community. Make today matter and every day matter. And I wish you all the best. Thank you. I now request the Dean to introduce to me the candidates present whose names appear in the program.
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are live streaming today, and it's a wonderful occasion. It's our spring graduation. It's intimate. It's small. I'm going to ask you all to put your hands together for every single person walking across the stage, because there are an awful lot of people watching us today. I'm sorry, um, Mr. Vice Principal, I went off script there. But I'm now going to ask our supervisors to introduce our doctoral candidates. Mr. Vice Principal, I introduce to you Manoj Daya Chiba. Who has complied with the requirements for the degree Doctor of Philosophy with a thesis titled The Impact of Strategy, Flexibility, Efficiency and Headquarter Control Orientations on the Performance of Multinational Corporations Adopting a Matrix Organizational Structure Prepared Under My Supervision. The Promo Vendus investigated the extent to which strategic choice, flexibility, efficiency, and headquarter control orientations affect the performance of matrix structured multinationals. Previous research focused on designing and managing matrix structures, ignoring performance implications and orientations that multinationals previously found difficult to implement. The research adopted a quantitative method and the results from 146 matrix structured multinationals revealed that multinationals with specific matrix orientations had a positive impact on performance. The research contributes to an a priori understanding of performance and found that transaction cost theory, an efficient system for organizing transactions, vertical integration, human assets and contracting. Mr. Vice Principal, I request that you confer the degree on the candidate. I hereby confer the degree of Doctor of Philosophy with all the as its associated rights and privileges on the candidate. Mr. Vice Principal, I introduced. Mr. Vice Principal, I introduce to you Nicole Cunningham, who has complied with the requirements of the degree Doctor of Philosophy with a thesis titled Investigating Middle Class Consumer Luxury Apparel, Behavioral Intention, the Role of Culture, Prepared Under My Supervision. In her thesis, the Prima Venda examined the relationships between the constructs contained in the theory of planned behavior and proposed luxury context antecedents. The study also examined the moderating role of culture and income levels amongst middle class consumers in an emerging market. Data, data was collected online and the conceptual model was tested using covariance structural equation modeling and a moderation analysis. The study revealed that specific luxury context antecedents influence consumers' attitudes and desires to conform to social norms, which in turn influence their behavioral intention. Furthermore, the cultural variables and income levels moderated some relationships of the theory of planned behavior. These findings provide an understanding of the factors influencing luxury apparel behavior intention amongst the middle class in an emerging market. The study further gives the retailers of luxury apparel practical insights on how they can change consumer attitudes and social norms in a way that leads to a favorable behavior intention. Mr. Vice Principal, I request you to confer the degree on the candidates. I hereby confer the degree Doctor of Philosophy with all its associated rights and privileges on the candidate. Mr. Vice Principal, I introduce to you Gordon von Seachert, who has complied with the requirements for the degree Doctor of Philosophy with a thesis 
titled Idiosyncratic Deals and Psychological Contract Fulfillment for Older Workers. The mediating role of entitlement and obligation prepared under my supervision and Professor Albert Vorke as co-supervisor. The promovendas developed a conceptual model to examine the theoretical mechanism linking idiosyncratic deals as a second order construct and psychological contract fulfillment. The study adopted a quantitative methodology and survey-based approach to gathering data on workers over 50 years of age. In support of activity theory and direct opposition to disengagement theory, this research has shown that idiosyncratic deals exert a strong influence on psychological, con con psychological contract fulfillment through high quality instead of low quality exchange relationships. The researcher argues for the impact of entitlement on obligation as an explanation for the mixed results in the literature on idiosyncratic deals. The findings of this research provide support for the construct validity of idiosyncratic deals by affirming that they are mutually beneficial to the organization and the individual. Mr. Vice Principal, I request you to confer the degree on the candidate. I hereby confer the degree Doctor of Philosophy with all its associated rights and privileges on the candidate. Mr. Vice Principal, I introduce to you Kizitu Gradus Mandera, who has complied with the requirements of the, doctor, of the degree Doctor of Philosophy with a thesis entitled Commitment to Organizational Change in Kenyan Geographic Cultural Setting, a Mixed Method Study of Kenyan Micro and Small Enterprises Prepared Under My Supervision. In this thesis, the Provenders investigated the meaning of commitment to organizational change during periods of significant change. Extant literature prioritizes developing, developing a stronger, more precise, and clearer construct of commitment to organizational change. A qualitative dominant sequential design was adopted. Data collected through interviews and participant observations were analyzed through iterative coding. Participant review of researchers' interpretation was triangulated by a translation review as well. Qualitative findings revealed that the employees reject the label commitment to organizational change as usually uh, labeled by Western uh, uh, theory, but rather prefer the term passion for to reflect the contextual rooted beliefs. The passion comprises five synergistic uh, elements demonstrating robust utility in developing construct measures. Quantitative findings indicate that the construct is unidimensional if based on contextual development standards, but three-dimensional if based on three-component model. These findings demonstrate that inadequate attention to, to the geographical cultural factors in measuring commitment to organizational change exclude significant features of the construct. A contextual grounding of the methodology was also discovered through the study. Mr. Vice Principal, I hereby request that you uh, uh, confer the degree on the candidate. I hereby confer the degree, Doctor of Philosophy, with all its associated rights and privileges on the candidate.
Mr. Vice Chancellor, Mr. Vice Principal, I now have uh, the honour to present the following candidates who have complied with all the requirements for the degree of Master of Business Administration. Linda Appy. With the MBA, an award for the best student in entrepreneurship, Charles Brill. Marcio de Abreu. Kavindran Govinda. With the degree and an award for the student with the highest overall mark for the elective, Integrative Research, an award for the best student in the subject, The Moral Leader, and an award for outstanding continuous academic achievements throughout the MBA program, Philandra Govinda. <laughs> With an award for the best student in innovation and design, Lutando Jama. <laughs> Stephanie Johnson. Lizelle Joubert. Molochadi Kekana. Shake hands. Rose Hokong. Tiago Lecota. Lontrola Machalela. Celia Manciane. Shalati Maponopono. Matthew Mayer. With an award for the best student in innovation and design, Maseshaba Motubatse. With an award for the elect of the best student in dynamics of competitiveness, Linet Mutongoraya. With an award for the best student in the subject leadership and corporate accountability, Olin Nzara. An award for the subject, the best student in general management in dynamic markets, Lenghasi Mzirai. Bonginikosi Ndlovu. Dawn Ngobo. Majilandile Nkumba. With an award for the best student in innovation and design, Itumeleng Poshoko. <laughs> Mabu Pukubche. Yossarian Reddy.
with an award for the best student in business analysis and research methodology, the best student in business valuations and deal structures, Jakob Schlu. Homotsohang Sehacho. Mohammed Sheikh. For the best student in applied decision making and with the MBA full time, Kyle Stricker. With an award for the best student in corporate strategy and the award for outstanding continuous academic achievement throughout the MBA program and the top MBA full-time students, Aware Tabegnu. <laughs> the best student in expert negotiator, Tiano Theodoridou. And Tabi Singh Wito. I like the excitement. Marion Zeller. Fanele Zwane. Mr. Vice Principal, the following candidates have complied with all the requirements for the postgraduate diploma in business administration. McDonald Chipungu. Kehomoditswe <laughs> Matsapola. Ngani Nkise. Kwame Moposho. Ramatladi Mushi. Pelokazi Chongweni. Angelina. Shiambakwe. Mr. Vice Principal, the following candidates have complied with all the requirements for the postgraduate diploma in general management. Jeffrey Dean. Petrus Dutoy. Bukhule Jack. Muezi Matinganwe. Umpitletsi Mafora. Silindile Magnoni. With an award for the best student in macroeconomics and for the best student in marketing, Simone Matza. Rupert Ntembu. Nosimilo Ramela. Palesa Smos.
Anele Vuta. I now request the Dean to introduce to me the candidates receiving the top awards. As first principal, we are announcing three awards today. And the first one is for, it's a shared award for the top students on the full-time postgraduate diploma in general management. I'd like to invite Pumalelo Sibeko and Benjamin Walker to please come forward. It would appear, Mr. Vice Principal, that uh, these graduates are not present today. I know that our next um, students are, um, are, are here. For the top students on the full-time Master of Business Administration, could I invite those who are present, Philandra Govinda, Peter Stain, and Awar Taigbenu to come forward, please. I think receiving this award in absentia, the best full-time integrative business research project is for Philandra Govinda. We give her a round of applause. She is here. Philandra, come back. Ladies and gentlemen, let us give our graduates a big hand for the hard work they have I think we should also give a big hand to Gibbs for this outstanding <laughs> And now I would like to ask our graduates to applaud their families, friends, and spouses for the support of the world. I see those who are not graduating are clapping hands. The <laughs> gift is open, you can go there. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we have now come to the end of our proceedings, and before we close, I wish to invite all present for some refreshments afterwards in the foyer of the aula. And now we are requested to stand for the singing of the national anthem and remain standing until the assembly has been dissolved and the academic procession has left the auditorium. The words of the national anthem, for those of you who still need to learn it, are printed in the inside back cover of the program. Please ride.
virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I hereby dissolve this assembly of the Invest of Pretoria. Thank you. <laughs>